What's up, everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and, uh, oops, I did it again. So I just did a video showing off this, the DVDs. These are the Blu-rays. I got each one of these for $2 at my local pawn shop. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I've kind of built up a rapport with a lot of those people in there, and they've been uh, very kind to me, and, and they let me have first crack today. They said, you know, hey, you want the first crack at all these Blu-rays and DVDs? I said, sure, let's do it. And they're like, all right, you, you go, go ahead. And they gave me the heads up on when they usually release the Kraken, a.k.a. the, the DVDs onto the shelves of Blu-rays. And they told me to give them a call ahead, ahead of time, and they let me know if they have stuff to go out. And I can come in and take a look beforehand, which is pretty awesome. I was not expecting that, but it's, it goes to show, spend a little bit of extra time actually trying to get to know somebody or know people, and they will uh, hook a brother up. So I appreciate it. So let's get into it. The first couple is no big deal, but, but by the end, it's pretty awesome. First up is Enemy of the State. I just love this movie. This is like straight up like a real like early 2000 type movie. You got Gene Hackman, you got Will Smith. I mean, there's a bunch of people in this movie that's like, I mean, it is filled with actors that are like super famous now that were kind of starting out back in the day. You got John Voight, you got Regina King, you got Lauren, uh, Lauren, uh, Lauren Dean, Jake Busey, Barry, pa Barry Pepper, Gabriel Byrne. There's also, uh, I think, Jamie Kennedy's in here. Jack Black's in here. Um, the guy, the, man, what is, uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. He, he plays uh, Dr. Evil's son. Oh, my gosh, he does Robot Chicken. But anyways, uh, I can't remember. But there's all kinds of people in this movie. I mean, this is a fantastic movie. Uh, Will Smith and Gene Hackman are great in this. Absolutely wonderful, fantastic movie. It has deleted scenes and making of the enemy of the state. And again, uh, you know, I'm assuming this movie looks awesome in Blu-ray. Next up is a movie that doesn't have any real special features, but I want to see it in Blu-ray. And again, getting it for two dollars. It's tr Total Recall. I have a different. I have a couple of different variations of the DVD. This is the first one I have of it on Blu-ray. Every, of course, everybody knows Sharon Stone's in this. Michael Ironside's in here. Rodney Cox is in here. Uh, this is a Paul uh, uh, Verho what's that? Verhoeven. I always get his name uh, confused, mixed up. Paul Verhoeven movie. A lot of people, I think, kind of initially crapped on this movie, but I've always enjoyed Total Recall. Thought it was just super, super interesting, and and I was like, I just huge Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, Sylvester Stone, Mark, I mean, they were the 80s and 90s for me, uh, and when it came to that. Next up is the director's cut of probably one of the crappiest releases from uh, before Marvel Studios became Marvel Studios. I think it was, this was 20th Century Fox, actually. Electra. Uh, I got it purely because it just fills a need in the collection. I did not have this on Blu-ray. For two dollars, I'll do it all day long. It comes with the audio commentary, deleted scenes, alternate and extended uh, scenes, relentless. The making of Electra documentaries, multi-angled dailies, Electra incarnations mythology uh, documentary, Electra in Greek mythology featurette. So Jennifer Gardner's in here. A lot of you all will remember. It's the very first time I think Marvel again. I say Marvel, but like you know, the superhero world. Did a movie with the actual crossover character. You know, Jennifer Gardner's Electra shows up in Daredevil. And she actually has a pretty big scene, pretty big uh, presence in the original um, film. Now, in the director's cut, a lot of the Electra stuff cut, it gets cut out. And I actually prefer the director's cut of Daredevil, which came out on DVD like years after the uh, theatrical release. Uh, there's like a whole uh, Coolio sub story about him, you know, being, you know, uh, framed for a crime he didn't commit or something. And he cut out a lot of the Electra stuff, which I had preferred. Now that I don't like her, I just felt like her story was kind of, like, weak and kind of was distracting from the Daredevil story that they were... They had a lot going on. You had Kingpin, you had Bullseye, you had Electra, you had Daredevils or origin stories. There was a lot going on. And I felt like Electra kind of just was taken away from that. So in the director's cut of Daredevil, it has him more being a lawyer, which is nice because you don't really see that much in the theatrical cut. So anyways, with all that being said, she shows up in it, and this is the first movie to my knowledge, and I could be wrong, that was a major studio release that had a 
a minor character that crossed over into her own film. First time that ever happened. Again, to my knowledge, and this was Elektra uh, doing that. So, again, the characters are all generic. I'm sure they're probably actual real villains from her from her uh, rogues gallery, I guess. But none of they were all very just, like, generic, like, kind of, like, elemental. Like, they were, like, gas and, like, they are like, gas and uh, water and, and dust or air and... Just goofy stuff. I was like, whatever. I just, I didn't, the other guy had tattoos and they had demons come out of his back or werewolves or something. I was like, all right. Next up is my very first John Wayne Blu-ray, Big Jake. I mean, I am super pumped. I I just, I'm just like, hope to God it looks awesome on Blu-ray. I mean, again, it being so cheap, it's worth it. You got, you know, uh, you got Christopher Meacham's in here, Marino O'Hare. Uh, Patrick Wayne's in here, so I mean, it looks, uh, it looks like you know, again, uh, it has all the right trappings for a good movie. Uh, I just, I hope it looks good on Blu-ray. I can't imagine it. I can't imagine. Well, once I get a really nice TV, huge TV, I bet this looks amazing up on the big, on the big screen. All right, now from here on out, it's a couple pretty, pretty big deals in my opinion. And that, the one thing about the Blu-ray, which the Big Jake didn't have any special features, which kind of sucked. But, again, it is what it is. Next up is the 19, I want to say 56, maybe? 54, Them, the big Ant movie. Uh, I mean, this is a four, uh, a Blu-ray, the by far one of the best 50s uh, creature features for sure in there. I remember watching this, I believe, Mystery Science Theater 3000. It used to be on like late nights, and they double. They had like, um, oh, uh, who who was it? They were like that night. Oh my gosh, who was like one of the eighties uh, and nineties um, uh, horror hosts? I can't think of it. But anyway, it, it, I feel like they show this movie a lot. The special features, behind the scenes archival footage, montage of the design and uh, and the operation of the giant ants, and a theatrical trailer. So nothing crazy. But again, I can't imagine this movie not looking good on Blu-ray. Even the, the desk even looks kind of cool, for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. And so there we go. Them. Next up is one I'm super, super excited about. This is from Scream Factory. It actually comes with a slip cover, which I couldn't believe it. And it is from another, like I believe I want to say like late 90s gym. I can't remember. It has to be like 98, 99, I bet. Maybe 2000. I'm not for sure, but it is Lake Placid. Oh, my gosh. Bill Pullman, Bridget Fonda, Oliver Platt, Betty White. I mean, this is a awesome creature feature. I mean, it's a good uh, double feature with them and then with Lake Placid. So they have a gigantic like monster alligator that's like in this, you know, Lake Placid and, you know, uh, it starts like, of course, uh, killing people and ripping things apart. They got the slip cover here and here you got the actual disc and the cool thing about it, they have the reversible cover. So you can have the reversible cover if you want on there. Let me get that out so you can see it if you want to switch it up. So there you go. Let me put the disc in there. So let's look at some of the special features. The special features include new interviews with director Steve Miner, actor Bill Pullman, and director of photography Darren Okada, new interviews with members of the special effects team, vin uh, vintage uh, featurettes, TV spots, and a theatrical trailer. So guys, this is awesome. Being able to pick this up for $2 for Screen Factory with the slip. Super, super exciting uh, so, so pumped to uh, watch this one. Next up is a Vinegar Syndrome film. Can you believe I found this in the wild? It is of none other than Jamal Fanaka's Penitentiary 2. Electric Boogaloo. No, not Electric Boogaloo. I had the box set of this for years. I had Penitentiary 1, 2, and I think there's 3. Uh, I actually was, before Jamal Fanaka had passed, I had found him on Facebook. He, I mean, he was just kind of... I know, by no means am I saying, like, I brought him out of obscurity, nothing like that. But nobody was talking about the penitentiary films of Jamal Fanaka forever. I found him on Facebook. I reached out to him. We had a conversation. And then all of a sudden, I uh, was able to get him in on one of my uh, 
uh, shows back in the day with a on a on a on a podcast I was doing with a friend, and then all of a sudden like his movies were coming back out on DVD or Blu-ray and all that, which was awesome. And uh, I'm not saying at all that I I was a catalyst for that, but I had a knack of finding people that seemed not to be like Carol Speed is another person no one had heard of from ever, and I was able to kind of get her in the right point her in the right direction for stuff. So, anyways. The one cool thing about this movie that a lot of people don't realize is a couple cool things about it, actually, is one, Ernie Hudson's in this movie. It's probably one of his very first films. Also, Mr. T's in here. Mr. T's in here. Awesome. Uh, he's in here, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, anyway, let's talk a little bit about this movie. Uh, Martel Too Sweet Gordon uh, has just been paroled, trying di uh, diligently to stay out of trouble he rekindles an old fling with a former girlfriend, uh, Clarice, and begins a job as a delivery roller delivery roller skater. But when his prison arch enemy, half dead, breaks out of jail and murders Clarice, Too Sweet is forced to return to his old life and seek vengeance the only way he knows how. Again, Ernie Hudson, who was in obviously Ghostbusters, he's also in Dolomites, uh, The Human Tornado, uh, which is Rudy Ray Moore, and one of the one and only Mr. T. Obviously, from A Team, they have on here Rocky Three. He was also uh, in wrestling back in the day with Hulk Hogan and Roddy Roddy Piper. Uh, this is a sequel to the 1979 Penitentiary uh, classic. Uh, is intensely for uh, uh, ferocity and outrageous action. This is a Blu-ray restored from the original 35 millimeter camera and negative, and it comes with the new scanner restored 2K from the 35 millimeter original camera and negative. The archival commentary track with Jamal Fanaka, who's the writer, producer, director. In the Raw uh, archive interview with Jamal Fanaka. Too Sweet on the, uh, on the outside interview with Leon Isaac Kennedy, who plays Martel. Uh, and then you also have an isolated uh, soundtrack, original theatrical trailer, reversible cover. So we can take a look. Oh, I didn't even realize this is a DVD and Blu-ray combo. Look at that. That's awesome. And then if you, you can look at the, this is the uh, the cover with Mr. T there, which is pretty awesome. So very, very cool. I probably will switch out that cover because I like the Mr. T cover, quite frankly, more. So there is that one. And then lastly, another one that I cannot believe I found. It is a, a Scream Factory release. I was like shocked. I used to watch this movie. I used to ask my dad if me and my brother can like rent this movie, like I don't know, a hundred times. It was definitely from uh, oh, um, Canon Films. Ninja 3, The Domination. Holy smokes. This movie is all kinds of bad in the worst ways, but also the most wonderful ways. You have Lucinda Dickey, who plays uh, Christy Ryder. Who was from, she was from Electric 2, or uh, 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 Breaking break 2, Electric Boogaloo. I, which is hilarious. I actually made a reference to that earlier. But yeah, she's actually in that. She becomes uh, possessed by a spirit of an evil ninja. The the the, the special effects of this are freaking hilarious. This is a combo pack of the DVD and Blu-ray. And it also has the reversible cover, which is very cool. But I remember this cover here, the, the Ninja 3 cover, the domination right here. Uh, right here is uh, super super pumped about that it says he's the ultimate killer she's the perfect weapon so this comment this comes with a commentary by director Sam uh, Furstenberg and uh, stunt coordinator Steve Lambert and a theatrical trailer but man guys I am so so pumped about watching this because I have not seen this movie since probably I don't know early to mid 90s. You know, probably the last time I saw this. This is absolutely amazing. Lucinda Dickey does a, I mean, I'm sure she's not doing it on purpose, but a hilarious job as Christy Ryder, this like ninja possessed woman who's of an evil ninja, whatever you want to call it, spirit. Uh, it's just awesome. I mean, let's see there. Uh, yeah, the uh, Golan and Glo Globus, right. Okay, Lucinda Dickey. Oh, yeah, show, show Kusa uh, Kosugi. Sorry, Shokusugi, who was in tons of movies from canon films from back in the day. 
uh, is the ninja guy in here, like the main the main ninja from he's also from movies like uh, Enter the Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, which is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. So, anyways, guys, so these are the Blu-rays that I had picked up. I hope you all enjoyed the video again. What do you think I did? Two dollars a piece for each one. How do you think? It, how do you think I did? What were some of the highlights for you? Have you seen some of these movies? What are your thoughts? And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.